Am I already there? I'm sorry, sir, you were saying something? Um, I just, I was wondering what's going on. There's some bad things that have come up on the screen, that's all. No, okay, no worries, sir. We still haven't finished. No worries. You sit back in the likes, I can see. That's me, I'm working on the computer right now. Okay. Let us first gather all the information. This is just one piece right now we have got, and a couple of more, and I'll let you know. So then I'll explain you what exactly has been happening, sir, okay? Hang on, please. Thank you. The chip type that you're using upon this computer, any idea on that, sir? The virtual box? Um, I'm not really sure. Okay, no, no, no worries about that, sir. I'll have to find some information on that, sir. Give me a minute or two. Just give me a quick second here. Hang on, please. Okay. Okay, thank you for staying line, sir. Right, now just try to check it, sir. This is uh, a virtual machine, as we can understand, that you're using right now. So we won't be able to get you any help upon this, sir. Okay, well, and you're a scammer, you know that, too. Right, right. And I'll call you back later. Well, he's hung up. I'm pretty sure there'd be a way to hide that. Oh, that'll just delete, delete it. Um, if you go to red edit, you can normally edit a lot of things um, in red edit anyway. It's probably um, it'd be. I would say if you do a search for that, so virtual, we'll do a search. Press F3 in there. Red edit, type it in B E S A B I O S and see if we come up with anything that might be able to edit and red edit. Otherwise, I'm sure there's a way. I'll go on YouTube and I'm sure someone else has found a way. I can't find a way. It's either that or delete DirectX diagnostic tool altogether, rename it or hide it. Um, chances are that one is that not always the case but um a chip type i will have to look on my host machine what for what is a um it's dxdiag i think is what you type this is my host machine so we'll come up with a um some sort of realistic display that we can put in there so chip type there, I could simply type, you know, Intel HD graphics family. If you type it in exactly, it's, um, it'll generally look pretty good. Um, hang on, I've already forgotten. I'll have to write that down with pen and paper because I can't remember. So chip type is what I want to, and possibly the DAC type too, because Oracle make virtual box so we might as well do both so we'll do intel so we'll change the virtual box to i n t l brackets r h d p r graphics family and i'd say um, hardware information, this is Oracle as well, that comes up, but um, in terms of hardware information, I'm guessing that's the DAC type maybe, it's just an INTR internal, and while I'm at it, we'll just make that a VBE adapter whatever um, and press f3 to continue searching um, let's come up with another one so we'll rename that to the same thing intel r space hd p graphics family and we'll just we'll make that one that and make that own internal. Press F3 to continue searching. Okay, it's finished searching through the registry. So if we close that down, close registry edit, try to reopen it. It might need a reboot, but 
click on display and as you can see i have now changed it